Hey beautiful faces, it's me Sonia and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with the video, do me a favor and like, subscribe to my channel so that we can push this video here on YouTube. Let's start the video. Hey beautiful faces, it's me Sonia and welcome back to my channel here at Fashion Reboot. If this is your first time tuning in to my channel, I provide content to give you behind the scenes footage of my reselling business, Fashion Reboot, where we specialize in vintage retro modern day brands and unique styles so today i have another thrift haul for you not as much as i normally have so this one is going to be a quick thrift haul so these are some of the items that i found over a period of time of thrifting and just never had a chance of showing you guys what i found so let's get started because i have to be somewhere in the next hour okay the first pair of shoes our pair of Birkenstocks. This is a really good brand to look for when you are shopping or when you are sourcing. Uh, this is a size, I want to say, let me see. This is a size 36, which is equivalent to a size 6. So they are in great condition, ready to sell. The next pair I found and I picked them up based on the style or the unique style that it is it's no brand and i was going to keep these but i'm not really sure because they don't fit the way i want them to fit they fit too tight like in the, in other words like my heel is just right here at the end and that's that's not comfortable for me but these are really cute they are a size i want to say i won't say they're a size six i'll say they're a size five and a half I would wear between a five and a half and a six, but it just depends on the make of the shoe. But yeah, these are really cute. So now I'm gonna show you a few vintage pair of shoes that I found. I thought these were really nice. One of them have some flaws on them. The only reason I'm gonna keep these is because I did the comps to see how much these shoes are being sold for. Uh, in the reselling community and I just decided to say okay I'll go ahead and keep these it is Claudia let me see how to say her name Le wait Claudia Levano these are made in Italy very nice shoes they are a sling bag as you can see here the heel is probably like a three inch heel the flaw is one of the taps came off the heel as you can see there so i'm gonna see how much it costs to get the tap on here because these cobblers or shoe stores or whatever repairs they charge more to repair the shoe than you pay to buy the shoe like if this was a brand new shoe they'll charge it as if it's a brand new shoe i don't know. they just very expensive the next pair i found are these vintage loafers are uh, with a heel i don't know if you want to call these loafers i'll say pumps this is like a three inch heel block heel made in italy the brand is called roby carlo made in italy very nice shoes this is like a chocolate brown and this is a size uh what size is this i think this is a six and a half six and a half oh these shoes here this is a size seven that's a seven this six and a half and these i think i mentioned that these were like a five and a half and then i think i mentioned that the birkenstocks were size six so yeah these are gorgeous and my last pair and I don't know, you know, I'm from South Florida. We don't really have seasons where you have to wear certain colors. Down here, we wear whatever we want to wear, whenever we want to wear it, whatever color. So I found these pair of white vintage pumps with these kitten heels. This is a vintage, it is made in Italy. I was on the roll. I was finding all these shoes that was made in Italy. Wait, let me make sure if these were made in Italy. It says something. No. This wasn't made in Italy. This was made in, yeah, it was. It was made in Italy. The name of the brand is 
Cazados uh, Manchu. Cazados Manchu. Never heard of any of these shoes, but the quality of these shoes are top notch in my opinion. Leather all over, leather soles, leather insoles, everything. The shoe is in great condition. And these are a size, I think this is a size six. I think it's a size six because they have like numbers like 38, 37, 35, you know, like that. Yes, this is a size six. Very nice shoe. I'm gonna show you a few more vintage pieces. I'm really trying not to keep this, but I think I may try to wear it one time. But I found this vintage off the shoulder dress with this pearl brooch that's attached to it. This is so cute. This is a size four. I don't know if I could wear this because vintage size four really is a size zero. It's not the same as what a size four is now. Because back then, they didn't eat the foods that we're eating now with all this added, you know, extra stuff to make us gain weight the way we do. But this is really cute. So it has these ruffles around the shoulder. I told you it had this brooch on the back. The ruffles go down like that. It has a zipper. The only thing that I wish they would have put was like a uh, metal zipper. And this is how you get into it. And again, this is a size four. Isn't this adorable? Please leave me a comment and tell me what you think. I don't care. You can be very honest, but don't be a lemon head and leave me a sour comment. Just leave me something to let me know what you think about this dress. Next, I have this velvet blazer. It is by Ink Internationals. This is a size large. You know, you could never go wrong with a, a nice blazer. I feel like if you have different style blazers in your closet, you'll always have a different look because you can pair this with a nice pair of jeans or you can pair this with a nice pair of dress slacks. Put your nice blouse underneath. Put your accessories on. And there you go. This is a one button and it has two pockets, one on each side. This is the back. See how the back is? It has that little piece back there. Oh no, I thought that was an opening. Yeah, it is. See, it has that back there as well. I'm sorry about the light. It keeps changing every time I hold it up. But yeah, I have this. And again, this is a size large. I don't know if I told you who the brand is for this one. The brand is Scott... McClintock, McClintock, I think that's how you pronounce it. Then I ordered some items for my plus size beauties out there. And I ordered this from Dave Diva and Co. Uh, she's also a reseller. You know, resellers, we have to support each other because that's the only way we're going to be able to make this work. So I ordered this top from her. I like this brown, this chocolate. Let me screen back so you can see it. And she still has a tag on it. So this is new with tag. Look at the back. I like that uh, knot in the back, long sleeve. This is from, let me see the brand. Uh, this is from ambiance and this is a 2xl so if anyone is interested in this it is available for my plus size beauties out there next i have this hershey's milk chocolate t-shirt you know this is another brown you know i'm like really digging on the brown and loving that color this is a size Yeah, this is a double XL for all you chocolate lovers out there. Here's your Hershey's t-shirt. Okay, got that one. And look at this green and pink jumpsuit. And this is from, the brand is Full Circle Trends. This is a 3X. And it is a jumpsuit. See that? Look how cute that is. 
like tie-dye with the green and the pink. And it also has a pocket on each side. It is a strapless jumper. And it has elastic at the top. So I hope you guys can see that. See that? I'm trying not to interfere with the camera, so the lighting doesn't change. And it looks the same on the back. It's just, you know, plain on the back. In the front, it has like pleats here. If you can see there. Yeah, pleats right there. So this is a 3XL and it is from Full Circle Trends. That's it. You remember I told you it was going to be a quick thrift haul because I have to be somewhere in the next hour or now, the next 15, no, the next 45 minutes. So, um, yeah, you can follow me on uh, fashionreboot.store. You can also follow me on uh, Instagram, fashionreboot. And try to follow me, if you could, please, on Poshmark at fashionreboot. So thank you all for tuning in. Until the next time, you'll see me in the next video. Have a sunny day, beautiful faces. Hey, beautiful faces, it's me, Sunny, and welcome back to another... Uh, nope, that's not what I want to say. <laughs> You said nope. That's not what I want to say. <laughs>